Hey guys, it's Oliver here. Uh, just wanted to share a tip of the day for you that's really, really helped me in my business and in my career over the course of my life and that is the ability to understand the power of indirect selling. And you know, so many people um, have a BS radar, if you will, that's through the roof because we're bombarded with information on a daily basis. There's so many you know, people out there saying that they have the next big thing that we never know what to believe. And you know, all of that information leads to overwhelm, which leads to confusion, which leads to inaction. And you know, that's why people just don't end up doing anything. And the key really is to understand how do you, you know, discern between advice and opinion, which one of my mentors, Peter Sage, is brilliant at it in a video, he talks about that. But once you've managed to get past that, really when you come across with your product or your opportunity you want to come across indirectly not directly and people are so used to being approached with this direct um, you know a, a mentality if you will and it's 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 almost pushy you know and, and it just makes you feel like you want them to get away and you know you can join the no friends club as some people say well the the key with the indirect approach and, and what makes it so refreshing is you coming in through the back door and really what you're doing is you're just asking somebody for their opinion and the way you do that and I'm gonna give you a very basic script here just that can help you is when you speak to people you know firstly ask them about themselves People love to talk about themselves and people are interested in what they want, not what you want. So if you're talking to somebody, speak in terms of their interests. So if you know what that person's why is, it makes it even easier. If you know what they value, if you know what they want, then that conversation becomes even easier. And the only way to figure out what people want is by asking questions. So think about that. Ask questions 80% of the time, you should only be speaking 20% of the time right so when I speak to somebody I'm gonna ask them how are you doing how's business going those are two very you know brief questions let them speak and listen and that's the key and some of us think we're listening but we're not really listening right listening means shut up and listen and when they speak let them finish before you comment and then when you comment compliment them that really helps it's amazing how that can feed somebody's ego everyone has one as much as we like to think some of us are we don't have one we all have one you know compliment them and then go in and mention the fact that you might have a product or a service and you know what ask them for their opinion you'd be amazed how people would love to give you their opinion because again you you you, you you're appealing to the ego Everyone wants to give you their opinion, to tell you what they think. They feel like their opinion's validated. So go out there, guys. Use the indirect approach. If you do, you'll see much, much better results with regards to uh, you know your, your closing ratio and how successful you are in your business out there. So have an awesome day, guys, and you know stay awesome. Cheers.